Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord is with you. The Lord is your joy. The Lord will be your great reward in the name of Jesus Christ. It is well with you. It is well with your family. It is well with everything you do. Whatever you say, whatever you touch is blessed. This is your day. This is your time. The day that the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it for the Lord is on your side. No matter what is going on around you, I want you to have that at the back of your mind. The Lord is on my side. And the word of God says, if God be for you, who can be against you? I want you to know today that the Lord is for you and the Lord is with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I welcome you to the hour of a wake up call. What is the wake up call message for today? The Spirit of the Lord took me into the Word of God and He wanted me to give you the secret to all this struggle in your life, the secret to overcome this stress, the secret to overcome all the attacks and whatever it is going on around you. You have prayed, you have fasted, you've done everything, but things still remain the same. Then how can I overcome that? The Lord want me to open your eyes of understanding today so you may have the secret, so you may wake up from that spiritual slumber, so you may know what you need to do to overcome all the stress and struggle and trouble and everything that is going on in your life. Hallelujah. If you can come with me into the word of God, the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 is a passage you already know in your head. Uh, the, uh, the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. When you read another translation, let me quickly read a few translations to you so you may have a better understanding of this passage. The book, uh, let's look at Amplified Version. The Amplified says, I have strength for all things in Christ who empowers me. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses inner strength into me. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. Hallelujah. When you read God's word translation, it says, I can do everything through Christ who strengthens me. When you read the message translations, it says, whatever I have, whatever, wherever I am, I can make it through anything in the one who makes me who I am. I can make it through anything in the one who makes me who I am. Hallelujah. So let me tell you today, the reason why you still struggle, the reason why you are still going through that strength, that stress is because you're trying to do all these things on your own. You cannot stop. Stop. Why don't you hand it over to the Lord today? Why don't you give it to the Lord? Lay it at the altar. Let him take care of it. It's none of your business. All this body you're trying to carry, that's the Lord's duty. That is responsibility. In the book of Matthew 28, guess what it says? Matthew 11, 28, excuse me. The book of Matthew 11, 28, is a come unto me, all you that labor and that are heavy laden. You see that heavy load on your head, why don't you hand it over to the Lord? Let him take care of it. You don't have to go through this stress. You don't have to go through this struggle. You don't have to go through this trouble. It's only because you're trying to do it on your own. And according to human nature, we tend to handle things on our own because if you want to do it right, you do it yourself. That's the same, right? Not on this matter. Because when it comes to the things of your life, you cannot do it on your own. Hand it over to the Lord and let him take that burden. Let him take that trouble. Let him handle it. He has the solution because he is the solution. You see, whenever you're trying to do it on yourself, you're trying to find the way on your own, you know what that looks like? It looks like a blind that is walking in the dark. It's already a blind man. He could not see. He's already in the dark. Now trying to find his way in the dark. 
you are not going anywhere. That's why your life is going in circle. Like the case of the children of Israel in, in the wilderness of Kadesh Barnea. They are trying to find their way on their own. They struggled and struggled and struggled until when the Lord showed them the way. He said, you've been going around this mountain long enough. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 2. He said, you've been going around this mountain long enough. He said, turn northward. Turn northward. If you can just turn around, just turn around. Hand it over to the Lord. Let him lead you through. Let him carry your body. It's, 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 it's hard to, to, to trust someone that you don't know. That's why the first thing you need to do is to get to know him. Get to know the Lord. Study about him. Surrender yourself to him. Surrender your will, your plan, your goal, your dream, everything. Everything about you. Everything around you. If you can just submit it to the Lord, lay it at the altar. He will carry your burden. He will lead you. He will guide you. The reason why you are still going through that trouble is because you are trying to do it on your own. And what does that mean? Lord, I don't trust you. I can handle this by myself or by myself. And the Lord pulls back and has been watching you, expecting you to return to say, Father, I hand it over to you today. If you can just do that, if you can do that right now, your situation will receive a turn around at this moment. If you can just hand it over to him. Guess what the word of God says? He says, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. But before you can resist the devil or before you can cast him away, you first of all have to submit yourself to God. Why don't you submit yourself today? Submit your plan, your goal, your dream, your will, everything about you, everything around you, everything you are, everything you have, submit it to the Lord today and let him guide you, let him lead you, let him fight for you, let him give you the victory that he has purchased for you on the cross of Calvary over 2,000 years ago. Your victory has been done, you just have to claim it, but you cannot claim it the way you are doing it right now. Submit everything to the Lord, invite Jesus into your life again. If you can just say, Lord, with all my heart, I surrender to you today. I submit myself to you. I invite you back into my life. I know it's only through you. Through you alone I can do all things. Without you there's nothing I can achieve. Without you I am empty. Without you I am nothing. So I invite you back into my life. I surrender it all to you. Lead me through. Guide me through. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have said that simple prayer with me, yes, you've just surrendered it to the Lord. And if you know there's any area of your life that you have not surrendered, come back to this video over and over and over again until you surrender every area and every part of your life unto the Lord so that it can lead you and it can guide you so you can overcome, so you can live a peaceful life and, and a glorious life that he has designed for you. The life that is full of joy and celebration and achievement and success and testimony and victories. That's what God has designed for you. Come to him today, surrender it all to him, and you will enjoy the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. That is will and his plan for you. God bless you. And once again, this is the hour of a wake up call unto when we shall meet again may the lord bless you and lift you up and fulfill his counsels concerning you remain blessed in the lord in jesus name amen